Open yourself up to the possibility of wonders, to a magical new country. This idea of a magical new country is a longing that remains with us in adulthood. How many times do we wish to escape from the tedium into adventure, from restriction to freedom, from a circumscribed life to a world of infinite possibility? It all starts in nature. Many sense extraordinary wonders of the living world as if their life were enchanted, but they stop there, as if that feeling is all there is. I believe that feeling of wonder and enchantment is a beckoning to something we once knew, but have lost. To quote to author Simon Barnes, we're not just losing the wild world, we're forgetting it. We're no longer noticing it. We've lost the habit of looking and seeing, and listening and hearing. We're beginning to think it's not really our business. We're beginning to act as if it's not there anymore. I would argue that we have forgotten, and for a long time too. Little evidence remains from our ancestors who would easily access this world of the wondrous Evidence that is too quick to be rationalised by us who have forgotten. But this hidden world can be made visible. We can remember what we once knew. It starts by becoming an apprentice to the land. Author Sharon Blackie said, To fully enter into the land secrets and to imagine yourself ready to offer them up to others, you need to live in that land. For long enough to show it that you're serious. No fair weather friend but someone who's capable of true relationship. So join me as I set off on a quest, a quest into the unknown of the forgotten. I will not be aiming to solve riddles from the past, but rely upon raw intuition. I will paint, draw, and keep field notes as I visit various locations, as well as enter into a relationship with the land I call home, to patiently allow the secrets of these places to be revealed. I will be working in multiple journals, one I call my wonderment journal, where many wonders will be documented. I will have field notes, art journals, swatch books and more. I truly believe this is just the beginning in creating a life you love. My quest will require me to stretch my faith, exercise imagination and to believe big. This quest will overlap and eventually merge with everyday life manifesting dreams and desires many do not think are possible. Power is with, within us to create a life we love, but first we must align with love, with nature and with the universe. We each have a specific calling, but to answer that call, we must be true. We must be brave and we must believe. We must be prepared to open ourselves up to the possibility of wonders. Thank you.